Korea was in complete ruins after the Korean War, but it showed unprecedented economic growth. How was it possible for Korea to be where it is today in just several decades? Korean economic growth was, uh, I guess it is uh, a, a miracle. Ali Bali culture and the systems, it's incredible. The world is seeing rapid changes during the post-COVID-19 era. How are you? What kind of a role will Korea's Bali Bali culture play in the future? A Chinese restaurant in Suwon City, Gyeonggi-do Province, promptly begins cooking dishes as soon as the order comes in, and they wrap them up as quickly as they can. They can speed up the preparation as all the steps are systemized. The packaged meal is handed to the delivery courier who's waiting outside. It's placed inside the delivery box and the courier whizzes off to the customer. The courier braves through the cold wind and arrives at his destination. He hurries to deliver food to his client. Jajangmyeon is laid out on the dining table in just 20 minutes after the order is made. According to data released by Statistics Korea, the transactions for last year's online food delivery went up 78.6% compared to the previous year. People can order through an application instead of going to markets. Online orders gradually increased, and these days, traditional markets receive hundreds of orders per day. Everyone is working hard to come up with a solution which will help them stay afloat during the pandemic. Jeju Island is located in the southernmost tip of the Korean peninsula. Jeju Island's specialty is tangerines. Many farmers operate small tangerine farms on the island. Users can even check the travel path of their order. There is a fierce competition in speed. The tangerines travel through the night and arrive safely at the customer's door. I ordered this yesterday from Jeju Island, which obviously is as far as you can get within South Korea. I'm from Jeju. And uh, it came all the way here the next day. Approximately half of the Korean population purchase necessary items via mobile applications, and they can receive their orders promptly in less than 24 hours. There hasn't been a government-enforced lockdown here in South Korea. The citizens have, for the most part, dutifully done their part and stayed at home and not gone out where possible, and that's a great thing. And they've done that because they've been able to access so many goods and services through delivery. South Korea is replacing all of its textbooks with it. Former U.S. President Barack Obama highly praised Korea's education system. After the COVID-19 outbreak, Korea became one of the fastest countries in the world to make a successful transition to remote learning iPads, it comes through tablets, it comes through smartphone devices, it comes through televisions, uh, national broadcasters will give them these things. So I think it's really important. People can easily receive text messages and acquire information about COVID-19, as well as the daily confirmed cases. Experts have been giving daily COVID-19 briefings. Last year, Alex received the COVID-19 diagnostic test. The entire process, from receiving the test to getting the results, was done promptly. Bali Bali culture and the systems, it's incredible because we receive text messages and alerts on our phones at all time. It's not a case of me requesting it, it's a case of this information can help you save lives. The government gives you that, is a tool, it's a weapon to fight against this pandemic. The Bali Bali culture has a tremendous impact on the Korean society. It has become a part of the Korean industries, systems and culture. Koreans have had a desperate urge to succeed, and they do their best to move forward as they naturally accept change. K-innovation was possible because of Korean citizens. South Korea grew exponentially because of its citizens, who will continue to strive forward in the rapidly changing an uncertain future.